The following program is intended for mature audiences. All right, up next, I've got a heartwarming little gem entitled The San Diego Steamer. The report was given during the summer of 1993 by a hiker who was asked to remain anonymous. At the time, the 22-year-old witness was in the Navy, stationed in San Diego, and had 10 years of hunting experience. His encounter took place on the La Jolla Indian Reservation in the Palomar Mountains, where the San Luis Rey River cuts through a narrow canyon that's concealed by vegetation, some very steep walls, and a dense tree canopy. The report goes as follows. I was walking along the creek that runs through the campground and for the hell of it, just kind of looking for tracks of whatever animals may have walked along that sandy path. I walked through a narrow barranca between a bunch of rocks and a creek and a steep hillside. I entered a small meadow and began walking into it. I got approximately halfway into the meadow when I started to feel a weird tingling sensation on the back of my neck, as if something was scoping me out. I quickly turned around and saw a huge creature squatted down in the middle of the same path I had just walked down. That giant mofo stood up and very quickly bolted up the steep embankment. It went through some gnarly thick-ass brush with ease and what tripped me out was there was no sound at all, nothing, no branches or twigs snapping or anything. And then it was history. So now I was really tripping. Because there's no way anything could pull a move like that off without making a frickin' sound, right? So I kind of cruised back over to the point where I saw it squatting down and that some bitch had pinched an enormous hot dark brown and black Sasquatch loaf right in the middle of the path. And when I say hot, I mean this was a San Diego steamer, literally wafting in the cold air. It reeked like a mixture of burning tires and a heavily frequented outhouse at a chilly cook-off. That baby was rank. Looking back, I could not tell if it was male or female, only that it was brown, walked on two legs, was about eight feet tall, and that sure as hell needs to quit eating at Taco Bell. Besides the turd, what I recall the most is the speed and stealth of that bastard, which were both impressive and scary as hell. And I won't ever go hiking up there again. At least not without a can of industrial strength for breeze. Ha <laughs> ha Hey, what's up? This is Knife, and this episode is appropriately entitled The Silver Wood Booger. Witnessed by a gentleman by the name of Carlos back in the summer of 2014. Yet another Southern California sighting. Here's Carlos's story. Yeah, about two years ago, in the summer of 2014, uh, me and my familia, we decided to go drown some worms up at Silverwood Lake. We got there real early for us. It was around 1.30 p.m. When we got there, man, there was only two people. But when it started sprinkling, those peachy white boys boned out, eh? My wife Dolores and me, my two daughters, had a Mexican easy up, as Dolores would say. <laughs> it was really a haggard beach umbrella we found in a rich neighborhood on trash day. So we said, Chale, we posted up, and as far as I know, we were like the only fools still there. You know, I was fishing by the lake, and after a while of not catching anything, I decided to put out a second rod. Put it out about 100 feet away from the first one. I went back to my first one around 3 or 4 p.m., and I decided to check on the second rod, and my 3- and 4-year-old daughters were following me, so I sent them back to my hyena. I thought they had gone back, so I kept on creeping towards the second rod, and all of a sudden I heard some leaves crunching to my left. About 30 feet away from me, I saw an ape-like, hairy-looking creature with light brown hair. Orale! It had long arms that were swinging while it ran. It was also crouching a little in the front. Reminded me of my father-in-law and tequila. I just stood there in shock, frozen for a while, and realized my four-year-old daughter was behind me, eh? Running back to my wife and yelling, Mama! Mama! There's a Pia Grande, or some say Bigfoot. I went back to my old lady and told her what I saw. She, of course, accused me of being on PCP. But hell, I've been clean since I got out of Folsom in 97, Holmes. What amazed me was the speed it was running, eh? This thing would leave my lowrider in the dust, Holmes. A BFR or investigator later spoke with me and... Hell, he believed me, man. He said I got a credible report. So, uh, that's my story, Holmes.
Thanks, Carlos. Also, there are other unpublished reports around Silverwood Lake, which is at the base of the San Bernardino Mountains on the desert-facing side. It's on the edge of the desert, but it's in the high elevation area. It snows every winter in this area. The spot where Carlos and his daughter saw it on Silverwood Lake is only a few hundred feet away from the Pacific Crest Trail.